After all that, we paid not a single gill for the damp shroom. The manifestation of such windfalls must be another facet of the inspector's uncannily good fortune. Your suffering nears its end, Master Poo Poo! If Inspector Brandehild's remedy fails, we could always try my explosive cure-all. Nashu, no! Inspector Hildebrand tells me you have the liver to go along with his damp shroom. I do. Mm -hmm. A fine specimen, thank you. I will be mixing the ingredients in the starship. So let's convey Master Poo Poo outside that we may administer his medicine as soon as it is ready. Mm -hmm. Aw, baby! Alien baby. This should be sufficiently remote. I'll have the craft come to us and we can commence the treatment. It looks like a chow. <laughs> Slorp. Yay! Oh, I feel so much better. I cannot thank you all enough. <laughs> Master Poo Poo recovered his strength in mere moments. Twould seem his powers of recuperation are just as advanced as his technology. <gasps> the little- the stalker! The little stalker in the background! He's right there! I came here from another world, a stranger you've no cause to trust, and yet you've treated me so kindly. The people of the star are so very welcoming. Ha! You are a dear friend now, Master Poo Poo. Tis our pleasure to help. Yay! <laughs> He's right there! He's not even hiding! <gasps> He is also not hiding very well. And it will be my pleasure to harm! Oh no! This is such a good guy. That's it? Oh, that's a cr <laughs> I love him just sitting in the air! <laughs> mm hmm. <gasps> yes! <laughs> I'll not fall for the same trick twice! <gasps> a shield! <gasps> Oh no, they're, <laughs> they're playing ping pong. <laughs> no! Brandon Hilt. Not another nose laser. What? I have lasers? Let me shoot lasers. <laughs> Yep, yeah, that's Silverbrand's alright. There's a cobbled. Why not? <laughs> no, he doesn't want to hurt the cobbled. He's gonna get hit himself! No, 
<gasps> Dash him? No, you can't! You can't! You can't dribble the goblin! <gasps> I think the inspector's done. <laughs> Impudent worms taste my full power! The big wing. Hmm, huh, hmm. <gasps> <laughs> you can do it, Nashu. You can do it. You've had so much practice. <laughs> Your jump shot, come on. <laughs> Bog. <laughs> this stalker. <laughs> what does it know? <laughs> the spike. <gasps> yes. Oh, the dog. <laughs> Yeah, we did it. <laughs> I took a screenshot too. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> Get out of here, Greeny. Holy fuck. <laughs> you took the full force of that destructive beam, yet there you stand. Somewhat singed, but apparently unharmed. <laughs> I've pondered and puzzled over this inexplicable fortitude of yours and feel compelled to ask. He's a primal! Are you an alien? <laughs> a fine jest! But I assure you, I am without a doubt an Uldah born Manderville of terrestrial Huron stock. He's Hildebrand, agent of inquiry and inspector extraordinaire. What more do you need to know? <laughs> Where to even begin? But never mind, we have more pressing matters. Amazing. <laughs> Such as locating Master Poo Poo's missing comrade, tis time we reopen the case of the silent correspondent. Yes, exactly. <laughs> the stalker's just back there. And I have a firm theory as to who it was that took the wreckage and its erstwhile pilots. The Charlayans! I'm all but certain they have allied with insidious extraterrestrials, which means they'll be under orders to remove any evidence of alien activity. I wager we'll find what we're looking for in old Charlayan. We need only infiltrate their operations and expose this nefarious conspiracy. What will you say? The Charlians can't be bothered to formally ally with foreign ma nations, much less aliens, and the Lopards don't count. Trust me, they'd sooner flee the star than attempt to subjugate it. <laughs> well, Master Delian's theory does lack supporting facts, we have no other promising leads to pursue at present. Moreover, I understand that Charlie sets the standard for monitoring astronomical and astrological phenomena. Mayhap their experts have been tracking extraterrestrial movements. Ha ha! Aww! Ahem. I've spoken out of turn. Please forgive my presumptuousness. Nay, my friend! I too sense her path points lead to the Isle of Archons. Pack your bags, everyone! We leave for Charlie and immediately! Wahoo! 
<laughs> hey Jen, I'm I'm okay. <laughs> There's I got some bad news this morning, but I'm getting by. How are you? Also, uh this isn't MSQ or anything, but this will have like spoiler stuff in it. Uh as a heads up <laughs> in case you know. Not just for this quest, but uh, you'll see stuff in areas and they might talk about stuff that's happened in MSQ. <clears throat> so you know. <laughs> my calculations may have failed me, but my companions did not. Twas your quick thinking that saw the villain laid low. What a tremendous flourish, no less. <laughs> Brandahill told me you all went in search of ingredients for my medicine. I am so very grateful. The time has come, Eveleth. Charlene is the beating heart of this conspiracy, and I won't let them hide their machinations any longer. Nice teamwork, Eveleth. Not from around here. Charlene awaits. We need only charter a suitable sea vessel. Of course. But does not the city lie many days sail to the north? Is there no swifter means of reaching our destination? So this experimental etherite will allow us to teleport thither, even absent attunement. Splendid! Then we shall avail ourselves of the technological marvel forthwith. Dun, 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 dun. Let us go. Oh, when you've traveled the cosmos as much as I have, teleportation is not the least bit disconcerting. How severe is your ether sickness, Master Poo Poo? Uh oh, poor Delian. Ugh. Oh god, save me. I hope Delian wasn't too attached to his inner. These two dorks have gone flying off <laughs> enough that it probably didn't bother them at all. So this is the city of learning. A sophisticated gentleman should feel right at home here. Ugh. Ugh. How are you all not sick to your stomachs? Experimental etherites make travel exponentially more fun. <laughs> Sometimes I feel as though I'm the only normal person in this group of eccentrics. <gasps> He's getting it. He's beginning to understand. But... Uh, uh. This is not the time to succumb to nausea. Not here, in the belly of the beast. Rumor has it the Charlian's secret agent travels. Secret agents travel the star in search of specimens, which they collect and bring home in service to a confidential research project. Said project is conducted in a huge underground military facility. If we're to find answers, then that's where we need to look. Delian wants to raid Area 51. You mean cleaners? Or labyrinth those? <laughs> These Gleaner chaps sound like they might know a thing or two. I say we pay them a visit in their little underground base. We simply take a lift from the Hall of Artifice, yes? Then let us be on our way. Wait! My big hat! My big hat's coming too! The city's archives are said to be bursting with knowledge of countless peoples accumulated over the centuries. I should very much like to peruse the shelves once we have attuned to, attended to our main mission. What beautiful architecture! Charlene is clearly one of your more advanced civilizations. If you're still feeling poorly, my all-purpose cure can poke you right up, as you know. Ah, uh, no thank you. I am much recovered. Ah, these must be the lifts in question. <laughs> Do you wish to descend into Labyrinthos, madam? Mm-hmm. My apologies, but each of your companions must also secure the proper permissions before we can allow them entrance. If it is assurances you need, then surely a single glance is all you require to judge us trustworthy. 
<laughs> never, never a more trustworthy punch. <laughs> I could certainly make some judgments, but that is neither here nor there. Admission to Labyrinthos is subject to foreign policy. You're the ones who should be judged! I know you're hiding aliens and xenotechnology in that underground base of yours. Admit it! Xenotechnology? I sincerely have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, yet again, your paths cross in most serendipitous fashion. Godbert? It is Godbert! Father, what business brings you to Charlene? I am in search of a certain object, one crucial to the continued refinement of the Manderville weaponry. My investigations lead me to believe it is to be found here in Labyrinthos. And as you also seem to have business down below. This is my son and his bosom companions. If I vouch for their character, will you kindly allow them to board the lift? Ah, oh, Master Godbert Manderville, the forum sent word of your impending arrival. As a member of the Syndicate, your ambassadorial status affords you an entourage of up to five members. Pray consider their permissions arranged. <clears throat> Perfect. I know not your current mission, but for the time being, I suggest you accompany me to the Archeon. Okay. No, Stalker, I'm sorry. Wait, was he in the back of the whole time? I didn't see him. Oh, I wasn't looking for him. I wasn't looking for him. Charlayan structures truly are works of art, simply inspiring. Ah, they have transformed this subterranean environment into one more suited to surface beings. I'm reminded of the orbital stations built to my own home star. Can we go to Poo Poo's planet? What an incredible vault of accumulated curiosities. I should very much like to return here once our mission is complete. Ah, an underground archive with such an extravagant recreation of an outdoor habitat. What innocent purpose could it possibly serve? Oh, but of course, they're performing simulations to hone their strategy for aiding the aliens in their invasion of the world above. We're underground, but above ground at the same time. Yes. From what Father tells me, the storage facility is replete with samples and specimens collected from every land on Aetherus. If anyone has information concerning visited aliens and crashed starships, it will be these studious folks. A shiny silver saucer. I'm sorry, but we have no record of any such object in our archives, either whole or in part. Oh. Or so you would have us believe, but the purpose of this complex, this military fortress, is plain. You cannot deny that you're conducting secret research on alien starships. We are not conducting secret research on alien starships. Yes, we did build a starfaring vessel in the Thomasane, but it was neither for military purposes nor of extraterrestrial origin. Disguising your foul lies with a sprinkling of the truth, are we? Fine, I'll dig up the facts myself, and then everyone will hear what you're really up to. <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> While I cannot assist you with your missing craft, I do recall seeing an individual of like appearance to your companion here. You do? And where was this, pray tell? At Mariel Ar Agronomics, in the medial circuit. The lift at the back of the building will take you down there. Many thanks, my good man. Well, well, it seems you found yourselves a solid lead. I have my own search to attend to, so I shall bid you good hunting and good day. Bye, Godbert. I'm sure we'll see him again. We have to, right? <laughs>
Another round of in-depth inquiries by the Ancient of Inquiry and friends is in order. To marry all agronomics we go. Mm-hmm. Dun-dun-dun.